Howdy everybody, this is Steve KM9G and there is something wrong with my antenna. Let's get after it. All right, so this is kind of fun. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but I noticed this today. If I hit tune on 40 meters, I lose it. And then to make matters even worse, it's a little blown out, but the RF power is set to 100%. And normally I don't have that high of a noise floor, but check out the SWR meter. Woo! I ain't sure what happened, but it looks like the antenna is gone. So we're gonna have to get out there and take a look at that. Okay, so we need to check out the antenna. So we'll take a walk outside. There is, where's my finger? There's some coax right there that runs along the length of the garden. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna isolate that out of the mix, but I also have to walk over here to where the antenna is. We had some branches fall over there and over there during the ice storm. And then you can see all of the detritus from the tree, all that green stuff over there is all from the pine trees that are here. Maybe it's a fir, I don't know. I'm not a tree species expert. Cisco, providing the world with food. All right, so let's take a look up the mast. Anything up there that matters? Nope, that all looks pretty good to me. We'll take a look down here at the bottom. And this is all covered with mess. So I'm gonna get that cleaned up real quick, hang on. All right, oh, let's see how well this works here. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of just checking the basics right now. I'm not 100% sure of what the right answer is going to be. So the next thing I want to do is check continuity between the two plates to see if something's grounding them out. Put my trusty multimeter on continuity mode. Listen to her whine. And then somewhere down under there, there's that. Okay, so the plates are not connected. Let's make sure the elements are connected. Yep, all the elements are connected. So next up, I wanna pull the coax out of the mix. I put a little bit of Vaseline on here to keep it weather tight. But that also makes it not a whole lot of fun to touch. And I come out here periodically throughout the year and use this antenna for other projects, use this, this coax for other projects. So there's usually a pretty liberal reapplication as time goes on. Okay, that looks all right so far. Get that out of the way. I'll clean this up a little bit. And I got my old friend here, the X6100. I'm going to use this to sweep the antenna directly because it's got a built-in SWR scanner function that works out really well. And this will tell me if the coax is good or bad. Okay, there it is. It took a long time to come on. And then I turned it off because I was impatient. So now we got to do it all over again. Oh, that's right. I had Wi-Fi turned on for a previous project. And that's why it's taken longer than usual to boot up. We are online. Let's go to app. Let's go to SWR scan. Let's change the speed. And it's not doing anything there. That's odd. Let's try the tuner. Okay, so now I hit the tuner and that brought it into line. Maybe that'll help out a little bit. Yep, let's take the tuner back out. Okay, so it's looking at pretty good SWR. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Pretty good SWR across 20 meters. 
That's almost all the way below 3 until you get to 14.6, which is out of band anyway. Let's exit that. Let's change our band. And let's do it again. We had a little bit of a spike below band, but other than that, it's not that big of a deal. That's fine. Okay, change bands. 40 meters. Okay, 40 meters is pretty flat across the way. So that tells me it's probably coax related. Let's go the other direction. 17 meters. Same thing. There's a little bump about three there and then everything else is lower. And these are bands that this antenna is not cut for. And then we're back to a band that this antenna is cut for and it's pretty good. We get up to two and a half at the end there. All right, so that tells me that it's more than likely a coax problem. So let's get this thing put back together. Okay, so next up we have a short bit of coax that runs around the shack. So the coax from outside runs all the way through the exterior wall of the house to this right here. We're gonna do the same thing with the 6100. We're gonna plug it in. Yeah, so we're about three on that. Two and a half on that. All right, I think we found our problem. Yeah, those are all pretty lousy. All right, so the next thing to test is the coax from here to the radio. Since we already know about the coax from here to the antenna. What I've got is the cell wave dummy load and an N type to SO239 adapter. Let's plug in the dummy load and get over to the radio and test it out. All right, let's try it. No. There we go. The tuner was stuck. The other tuner. This tuner down here, just out of frame, was stuck. All right, so we are good on 10 meters. Let's switch to another band, just because we can. And we are good on another band. So it is the coax between the antenna and the house. That sucks. All right, so what we did there was a process of elimination. We started at the base of the antenna, kind of split the difference. So I went from the base of the antenna up the antenna, that was fine. I went from the base of the antenna back to the house, not so good. To prove that it was between the antenna and the house, I split the coax where it entered the house at the wall and then tested from the coax over to the radio with a dummy load. So a good reason to have a dummy load there is to be able to test that little bit of coax. I got a one-to-one -one with a dummy load. I got a not-so-one-to-one -one connected to the antenna. I got a one-to-one -one connected directly to the antenna. Must be something in between. The only thing in between is over a hundred feet of coax that is through the wall and buried. That's not going to be fun, but we'll figure it out. I'm going to probably try and see if I can cut maybe two or three feet off the far end of the coax and put a new end on it, which is also not fun, but a lot more fun than redigging a trench and repenetrating the house. Either way, there is a video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll get this thing fixed sooner or later.